Well, it's time to grab your passport because we are taking a trip to Paris for the 10th annual Dancing with the Stars in Springfield. Joining me now is Corinne McWhorter with Prairie Art Alliance. Good morning, Corinne. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So I understand that Paris is a theme for this year. How was that chosen? Um, you know, the committee just got together and it just sounded like a perfect, wonderful evening um, with all the lights and the beautiful scenery. So we decided to uh, just jump on that. Last year, our theme was uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night. So it just seemed okay. like a wonderful transition. So Can't beat the city of lights. Exactly. Who are some of the local celebrities dancing this year? Um, this year we have six uh, local celebrities dancing. Um, Catherine Harris, uh, who is a retired library service director with the uh, Abraham Presidential uh, Library. Um, we also have Ted and Gwen Harrison. Uh, Ted is a teacher and Gwen is a um, the librarian for the uh, State Library. Um, Stephanie Johnson, who's the owner of Just Right Eating. Um, we have Dr. Rama Pula, uh, who's a doctor with SIU. Um, and we have uh, James Shackman. Um, James is uh, the superintendent with the uh, Springfield Park Districts. And uh, finally, we have Sarah Smirez, who is a radio personality on midday um, 104.5 um, WFMB uh, FM with Newhoff Media. Um, and we're very excited to have them all partnered with um, local dance instructors um, with Pat Litaker's Dance School. How, how much prep time goes into getting these folks ready to strut their stuff? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of prep. Um, they've been um, starting rehearsals since um, September. Um, they just had a, a rehearsal last night and are gearing up um, to continue on. Um, they have five scheduled group rehearsals, um, but they also um, do many individual rehearsals with our instructors um, as well. Some of them come with some dance experience, but some of them um, are fresh um, and have never danced before and would nice. tell you that they have two left feet so um, <laughs> we uh, they work very very hard and uh, it's a it's a great evening and a lot of fun and I just wanted to point out that this is the actual this is the, yes. this is the coveted prize here right there the uh, Dancing with the Stars 2015 trophy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. this is a fundraiser right yes yes it is um, this is our uh, major fundraiser for the Prairie Art Alliance which is a not-for-profit organization um, we are um, we are residents in the Hoagland Center for the Arts, um, and this is our 11th year in the Hoagland Center and our 36th year as an organization. Um, we provide um, support to local artists as well as art awareness and art outreach. So um, we kind of help artists um, move from the emerging stage, um, helping them develop their career, not only just in the technical skills, but um, in terms of how to get out in the community and display your work, um, get it into other galleries um, beyond our walls. Um, and and then many of our artists are also out in the community um, doing outreach in the schools. Um, we just uh, this past year participated in the uh, Feichens Elementary um, School makeover, um, the Sharefest makeover, um, and helped redo their courtyard. And that was a wonderful um, partnership with our artists as well. Well, best of luck with Dancing with the Stars. Thank you very Corinne, much. thank you so much for being here. Again, that's Corinne McWhorter. She's the gallery director for the Prairie Art Alliance. The 10th annual Dancing with the Stars event is being held on November 7th inside Hilton's Grand ballroom in downtown Springfield. For reservations, visit prairieart.org.